Most people in America are quite familiar with what is and isn't efficient. Most people in America can speak the Lord's English because that is a requirement of being in America. And if it's not a possibility, then you are coming here as a student to magnificently learn our English, which is typically how students come from abroad. It's that cultural exchange that we like to highlight when we have our international friends. But at the same time, we have to recognize when that didn't exactly work. I'll be honest, I don't know all the laws of the world with regard to visas and how they work with different nations because different nations have different statuses of what is and isn't lawful. And I don't have those immigration books anymore, and I'm not sure how much that matters to any of you, but it should matter to you. Because the additional people in America put a depletion on our foods, on our water, on our systems, on our septic tanks, on our everything that is a part of daily life in America. At the same time, we benefit ourselves personally when we get a chance to go abroad to live, to work, and to see other people, and gain a lot of knowledge about different life in a different way, in a different world, a world away. When I talk about these things, we always have those liars in America who think they are above us when they come here, when they get here. And my question is, what allows them to stay here, to play here, to lay here, is my question. I'm often seeing people of impoverishment, also people who are regularly helping themselves in their own concepts of their own communities. Now, I often joke and quip about the words that I barely know from a foreign land of what I see that illegal aliens do come here and then they procreate and they have four, five, and six children almost immediately and they stay. And while it creates for them a good solid family of choice unit, it creates for us a regard in a way that all children are allowed a free education, which is truthful. But it also means that young people are being raised bilingually, which is great, but it doesn't mean that their parents are getting that education because their parents are working their asses off to pay for all those mouths. Now, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and whatever the Lord channels through me can sometimes be incredibly exhausting. But here's what I know about family of origin and siblings, is that very few of them bow down themselves before the Lord Jesus or any version of God. Their age is something that they entitle themselves to, and their arrogance is something that they feel that they can do because they still lie to themselves, and they lie to me, and they might lie to you in order to produce their life, their livelihood. But when it comes to personal people, when it becomes to personal personhood in terms of a person's heart, mind, and soul, that is up to the individual how they will go. And when it comes to a person's possessions and property, those belong to the person who purchased them or the person who received them in gifts or presents and whatnot. When it comes to a person's possessions is not the point when it comes to the person's paperwork that 100% underneath federal law belong to the individual, not to any hell-bent parent, not to any hell-bent sibling, and this is the point that we have to get to, that people are often foolish and immature about what is and isn't their due.